We begin this video by going all the way back to the 8th of January, where a pair of BNSF motors are leading M337 under the Seminary Street Bridge on Canadian National's Freeport sub. ET44C43911 leads an ES44C4 and a Canadian National SD70M-2. It's still winter, and there's only a little bit of light left under overcast size before the sun sets. It would be another two weeks before I captured my next move at 11th Street in Rockford. A GE Trio was leading U704 ethanol loads upgrade out of the Rock River Valley. ES44DC2317 was leading a C44-9W and an ES44AC at 11th Street. L-561 of the 25th was a lone Grand Trunk Western GP38-2, number 4919. It was headed eastbound down the Rockford East Belt on its way to International Paper to pick up a few cars. Following Friday morning, I caught what would be a late CPKC K66 at Baxter Road on Illinois Railway trackage at milepost 16.4. It had a healthy nearly 20 car consist. <laughs>
That afternoon, I made it to Morgan Street on CN's Freeport sub just in time to catch SD70i 5605 leading a Dash 9 and an SD75i on Canadian National Manifest M337. <laughs> Notice that mid train there was a collection of Wisconsin Central and Illinois Central flats. The following day, I caught ES 44 DC 2317, leading another Dash 9 and ES 44 AC at Corbin Street, with an empty ethanol train headed toward Dubuque. Near noon on Sunday, a pair of ES-44ACs led an empty grain train west through Rockford on its way to Dubuque and points west. They had a block of manifest at the front of the train. I set up along one of my favorite straightaways in Rockford between 7th and 6th streets to catch them blowing through the crossings here and illuminating the mast. <laughs> 